How's it going guys? This is Ibanez and I'm back for another PO match. And this battle is against uh, Smogon user Black Rain. I knew I had heard of the name before, but when I got into battle and I was like, I think I know this person somehow. I'm not sure how, but I think I've seen the name before. And yeah, turned out to be Smogon user Black Rain. Anyways, um... Yeah, I guess his name kind of makes sense because he does like rain. So he's going to be using a rain team, and I'm going to be using my sun team that I made. It seems as if every battle I'm using a new team, but I don't know. I just like trying out new stuff. I go from rain to hail to sun. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. Anyways, um, yeah, that's kind of about it. So we are just going to go to that play button. And, uh, yeah, basically, it's rain versus sun, and we're going to see uh, which wins. Now, you know that most people might say that rain beats sun because, you know, water is super effective against fire, but that's not always the case, and, um, yeah. But uh, Black Rain is a good battler, so I'm going to have to make some good moves, and he's going to make some good moves. But I go for the Toxic, predicting his Politoed to come in, and I need that thing poisoned so that I can take it out later. He's going to go into his Rodom Wash, and I'm just going to stay in. As it turns out, he is running a Scarf variant. It's good to know for later on. I just go straight for the Draco Meteor. Didn't want to overpredict. Unfortunately, I miss, but nah, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to switch out to my Ninetales here to get up the Sun, as he's going to go for the Stealth Rock. And now I'm going to predict him to switch out into his Politoed, and I went for the Sunny Day. But that didn't happen, and now he's going to go for the trick, and now I've got a Choice Scarf Ninetales. And yeah, the reason why I predicted the Politoed is because, you know, why not send in? Because it's, you know, sun's up, but I don't know, I guess he decided not to send in. And I do get the burn here, which doesn't matter in the long run, you'll see later on. But, um, I don't know, that is kind of unfortunate, because I believe that's a 10% chance or something. So he's going to send in his Politoed. I missed the Fire Blast. That probably wouldn't have even done anything anyways. So now I'm just going to switch out and I'm going to bring in my Venusaur to take these possible something. He's going to switch out into his Latios. And that's not good because Latios is actually a big threat to this team that I noticed. And it seems as if every single battle I have with this team, there's a freaking Latios. And as you can see, I just lost my weather right there. Literally. On turn 11. Turn Yeah, turn 11. 6-5, and I've already lost my weather, and he sets up the rain. So now I'm in big trouble, because in order to beat him, I have to play around this rain like crazy, because Venusaur won't be able to outspeed anything. And it, it's just crazy. So I went for the Protect to rack up some Toxic damage. He's going to go for the Surf. I know I can live that, so I'm just going to go for the Toxic here, because I need this Latios to be Toxic, because again, Latios is a huge threat to my team. Um, I gotta work on that. So he's gonna, uh, I just, bleh, I can't talk. Is it that, is that time of day again? Um, yeah. So I'm gonna go for the Protect again, but it fails, and he just goes for the Draco, because I was predicting him to think I would switch, and there really would be no reason for me to switch, though, because, again, this thing threatens my team so badly. So he's gonna send in the Politoed, and I'm just going to go for the Lava Plume, and it does absolutely nothing. But, you know, the toxic damage is going to start to rack up. So, I'm just going to go for the protect again because, you know, why not protect? Goes for the scald, and I just realized something here. Wait. He doesn't have leftovers, and he has scald. Uh-oh. So, I'm going to go for the lava plume, and... Oh, Shesto rest. We'll go great. So, this could be problematic. So, I am going to switch out, and I'm going to bring in my Venusaur again, as he is going to go for the scald, and, well, he gets the burn. So I guess that makes up for my Fire Blast burn, uh, but, you know. So I'm just going to stay and go for the Energy Balls. He's going to go for the uh, Scald again, and with the Scald damage plus the burn, it is going to be able to take on my Venusaur. So now I'm going to send in my Terrakion. This is the MVP. Think about it. I'm down 6-4. Make that 5-4. Uh, and my Weather is gone and my Venusaur is gone. How could I possibly have a chance? It's right here. I predicted him to go for the U-turn, predicting me to switch out. So I'm going to stay in, and I'm going to go for the close combat. He goes for the U-turn, his scissor is going to die on the switch-in. Now, 
I'm set right here. So he's gonna send in his Breloom. I was fearing the Mach Punch because some person last battle had it. I don't know why. It wasn't even Technoloom, but I was just fearing it. So I'm just gonna switch out into my Gliscor as he goes for the Spore. And now I'm going to switch out into my Terrakion. Realize that is the riskiest play I have ever made. I really should have sent in my Latios. I have no idea why I didn't do that, but I don't know. Things happen. So he's going to switch out. He's going to bring in his Scizor just as Death Flotter as I'm going to switch out. And I'm going to bring in my Heat Ran here. So I've tied up the score 4-4 even without my son, which is pretty crazy. He's going to send in the Latios, and I don't want him, you know recovering off everything so instead of protecting i'm just going to go for the lava plume but i don't because that so now i can send in my terrakion go for the quick attack take this thing out and that's going to be the third pokemon down to terrakion's shenanigans he's going to send in breloom of course i have to switch out because quick attack can't ko from this range so i'm going to bring in my latios as he's just going to go for the c bomb and it doesn't do too much in fact that won't two hit ko either and now I'm going to predict his Ferrothorn switching, and I'm going to go for the trick. So that way he can't leech seed me, set up any hazards. He's forced to go for the gyro ball and take me out, really. So I'm going to go for the hidden power fire, weakened by the rain, and it's not going to do too much at all. He is going to go for the gyro ball and take me out. So now the score is 3-2. I've got my Terrakion, and I've got my Gliscor left, which is asleep. Go for the close combat. I take out that Ferrothorn easy. So now, all he has left is his Breloom and something else. Go for the close combat, take this thing out. That's five Pokemon down to Terrakion right there, ladies and gentlemen. Now I've taken the lead 2-1. All he's got left is this Rodom Wash. It will die upon burn um, this turn. So I just send in Gliscor because we can't let the beast die. I mean, for something that just pretty much saved the entire game, they'll let it die. So the reason why the burn didn't matter... Uh, Terrakion's quick attack would have definitely KO'd since it's banded. So that's a great game, Black Rain. I'm not sure if he has a YouTube. I'll have to look around Smogon for that. But, um, anyway, so basically, that's how you come back from a 6-4 deficit without your weather. When you've got a sun team against a rain team without your sun. Um, yeah. So... The only thing I don't like about Terrakion, though, is Stone Edge, but, you know, that's just typical. And the screen has gone black, so that means it is time for me to go and do, um, other things. So, yeah. So, I'll be seeing you guys next time. Bye.